देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षा परम ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम श्री स्वामी समर्थ महाराज की जय श्री गुरुदेव दत्ता श्री त्रिम्बकेश्वर महाराज की जय गंगा गोदावरी माता की जय सत गुरु परम पूजा मोरे दादा की जय श्री स्वामी समर्थ गुरु मौली की जय Hello. Thanks for practicing. Hopefully you've been practicing. So, today it's going to be a quick video. I'm just going to show one, maybe two things. And and I strongly suggest that you don't just do what I'm about to show. So you don't do it with me. But you watch it uh and then practice some standing postures. maybe some twisting you know whatever posture so warm up and then do what I'm going to show now practice that um uh, and so I'm going to show the first although I've shown this a long time ago now uh a back extension so we haven't done the back extensions very extensively because I said we need to prepare for them we need to prepare our bodies through the standing postures forward extensions twisting postures so now you've been doing all those so now we're going to start doing some back extensions um we're going to do more in the next week or two uh but today we're just going to get going a little bit so practice for a little while then do these these postures and then afterwards you must undo the back extensions so i came to yoga because of a bad back when i was younger and so so my teachers told me for every minute that you're doing back bending postures you need to do releasing postures for an equal amount of time and those releasing postures are going to be gentle forward bending and gentle twisting so you want to do those after you do the back extensions and so i'm going to show today we're going to do ustrasana camel's pose so i put this i have to use a blanket because the fronts of my ankles don't reach the ground So I'm going I'm going to kneel on the fronts of my lower legs and the fronts of my feet pointing straight back the tops of my feet the legs are parallel with each other okay and then to come up now you want to press the fronts of the feet down and levitate your body upwards that may give you some work in the thighs that's good but as you see my ankles came up off of this blanket so i'm going to put a blanket there so the fronts of the ankles can be down into something okay so notice i'm pulling the fronts of the knee skin forward so i'm getting the skin stretched the legs are parallel Again, the thighs are parallel and all the back extensions, see it's called a back extension. You extend. So you don't you the the legs need to stay parallel in the back bends. The arms, a lot of the back extensions, we've got the arms over the head like this and back. The elbows need to stay parallel. or the upper arms and the forearms need to stay parallel as you do the back extensions. So here, Ustrasana, camel's pose. Press the fronts of the feet down, the tops of the feet and levitate yourself upwards. Get the thighs vertical. Take the hands to the back of the hips and you want to use those hands to push the sacrum down. 
So you keep length in the lower back. So they're called back extensions because we extend the spine. It's not a back bend. You don't bend in the spine. You'll damage yourself eventually or right away. <laughs> so use the hands to keep the elbows in towards each other, the shoulders back, the chest open, and to keep the sacrum down. And then you'll start lifting the front body away from the thighs. So you need, and see I'm moving the sacrum down, I'm lifting the front. Do it with your inhalations. Inhale, exhale, soften. Inhale, back, keeping the chest lifted the tailbone down, the sacrum down. Finally, take the hands away, one or both. And then to the feet, roll the shoulders back, open the chest, coil the spine, stretch the chin back. Keep the shoulder blades moving in towards the chest. The thighs vertical, so don't bend the knees to go back. If you don't reach the feet, okay, to come up, take the hands back for support. Now, if you didn't reach your feet, you can put something on top of the ankles, blankets, a pillow, anything. Okay, so one more time, Ustrasana, camel's pose. Press the fronts of the feet down to come up. Take the hands to the back of the hips. Move the back of the hips down as you keep the elbows in, chest open. Inhale, up and back. Inhale, up and back. Inhale, up and back. Release the hands to the blankets. Open the chest, coil the spine, stretch the chin. Keep the lower back soft, the buttocks unclenched, ungripping. Take the hands to the back of the hips, come up and sit down. Good. So, Ustrasana, camel's pose. I'm just going to show one more thing here quickly. Just a standing back arch. So just to warm, loosen up in the back area, get some, to learn the principles involved. So have the feet about hip distance apart, outer feet parallel with each other. Take the hands to the back of the hips, elbows in, shoulders back, chest lifted and open. Bend the knees and then a similar action in the upper body, standing. Okay, maybe you can take the hands down the legs to the backs of the thighs. But learn to keep the thighs parallel and to keep space in the extension. Good. And then, so you don't just do that, but now, you should go on and do some twisting, some maybe forward extensions, and then shoulder stand in Shavasana. So that's the introduction to the back extensions. So add that in to your practices and we'll be doing more. Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu, Guru Devo Maheshvara, Guru Sakshat Param Brahma, Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha, Shri Swami Samad Maharaj Ki Dai, Shri Guru Dev Datta, Shri Trimbekeshwar Maharaj Ki Dai, Ganga Gora Bari Mata Ki Jai Sat Guru Param Puja Moridada Ki Jai 
Swami Samad Guru Mauli Ki Jai.